What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Trent Peterson, I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down product research and finding a supplier in 2021. I'm gonna be breaking down some of the newest and latest strategies. We're gonna be using some cool new tools that you guys didn't even know exist. So I'm really excited to bring as much value as humanly possible in today's video. But before we dive into it, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. We're gonna be picking two lucky winners to win a pair of AirPods and a free 30 minute coaching call with me. So all you need to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment. And what's cool about this is you can comment a hundred different times and that's a hundred entries. So I want you to spam, like spam the comments as many times as humanly possible and that's going to better your chance to win. So I'm gonna do a random comment generator and boom, we're gonna pick you and you have a chance to win AirPods and a free 30 minute coaching call. So I just wanna say thank you guys for the support. I'm really excited about the video, so let's get into it. All right, so let's dive into the video. Let's break down some product research and how to find a supplier. These are some of the most common questions that I get is how do I find a product and how do I source that product? So we're gonna be killing two birds with one stone in today's video. And the first thing that I wanna do is cover product research. So let's dive into my screen, come to alibaba.com and yes, Alibaba to find our product idea. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. And there's a cool new tool that Helium 10 just released and that's what we're going to be using. So if you guys think as I'm going along, oh, I already know this idea, you probably don't. This is something brand new. So let's dive into it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that random word list. We're gonna come up with random words. We're gonna start typing, typing them into Alibaba. So let's come right here, I type in rack. And just like that, it auto suggests different keywords. And what I do is I just scroll through and I see what catches my attention. And if there's nothing, I hit space and even more products come up. And then if there's nothing, I type in H and I see rack holder, rack hanger, uh, rack hook. Okay, there's nothing. So I'm gonna type in W, rack weight, uh, rack with wheels, uh, rack wall, rack wine. Rack wine it sounds interesting. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this. And so that's what you're going to do until you see something that catches your attention. And just being blunt, just because it catches your attention doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good product. That's just the first step to start. So once we see something that's like, okay, I'm gonna look into that a little bit more. I'm gonna come right here and I see, okay, these are basically holders for uh, different wines and there's a lot of different styles. And it, normally what you would do is you would basically pull up the Helium 10 Chrome extension inside Amazon, where you would copy this and then come to Amazon, paste it, and then you would search it and then you would pull up this Chrome extension and wait for it to load. But you don't have to do that anymore. You can literally do that inside of Alibaba. And if you have Helium 10, you have access to this. It's called the Launch Alibaba Demand Analyzer. So I click on this tool and just like this, it breaks down the demand of rack wine. So as you guys can see at the very top, the search volume is 259. Now that's not a lot of search, but rack wine, I mean, that's kind of reversed. I, I was typing in rack and then I just came across wine. Normally it would be wine rack. And so that's not a ton of search. But if we see the top matching keywords containing rack wine, we see wine rack has 210,000 searches per month with only 2000 competing products. If we come right here to wine rack countertops, it's even better, 30,000 searches with only 700 competing products. And then right here, wine rack wall mounted, it's the same exact thing, 24,000 searches with only 361 competing products. So what I can do here there's 5 million different things that I can do from here. And that's what I absolutely love about this new tool is I can go right here and I can copy this keyword because maybe uh, rack wine is not a, a great keyword, but this keyword uh, wine rack wall mounted could be really good. And so what I'm gonna do is I could pull that up on Amazon or I could come right here, I can hit see full keyword list. And once I do that, it's going to pull up magnet and it's gonna pull up all the keywords and give me all the information that I need. I'll come back right here and I can also see, see all metrics. I hit this and it pulls up Helium 10 black box, uh, the, niche, uh, the niche, niche, whatever you wanna call it, the black box niche finder, and it's going to break down this particular category. So we see the total revenue, average revenue, average BSR, average price, average reviews. It gives you a success score. Um, I, I don't necessarily look at that. I know a lot of people always ask me that in my videos. 
I, I don't really look at the success score because more often than not, that success score is not super accurate with the things that I'm looking for. So don't necessarily pay much attention to that. But as you guys can see, we can see the, the monthly sales. We see the monthly revenue. We see they only have 25 reviews. They're doing five just under $6,000 and only have 25 reviews. And they're selling this thing for $26. So that gets me excited. That's a potential product opportunity. And so, like I just mentioned, there's a lot of different ways to go about it from this new Helium 10 tool. So you click on that, it pulls up all this different thing. You can click on the top products. And if we come back to Magnet, um, it pulls up all the different keywords and there's 4,000 of them. So you can go through them. You can click on a wine glass rack under cabinet. So that's a completely different keyword and there's only 300 competing products. So what is this? So I click on this and it leads to something even different. It's not that traditional uh, wine rack that we were first looking at. So what's cool is we started with this one keyword and then it took us here, then it took us there, it took us there. And then we can finally find the perfect product that we're looking for. So that is what we're doing with this new Helium 10 uh, tool. And it's incredible. I absolutely love it. And I mean, you, you guys can go play around with it, but that is the first thing that I'm kind of looking at is uh, the search volume, the competing products, and then you can break down the full keyword list or see all metrics. So that is a great tool to use. And we're going to continue to try to find the perfect product. So let's continue on our search to finding products. Again, we're gonna come back to Alibaba, start typing in random words. So we type in purse, don't see anything. I don't see anything there. Purse closure, purse holder, purse set. Uh, nothing really that catches my attention. I'm going to type in the letter D. We see purse display. We see purse display twice. Um, we see a, a dust bag, um, a purse display stand, a purse display rack. So we see a purse display quite a bit. So that catches my attention. I'm like, okay, this is showing me this multiple times for a reason. So I'm going to click on this. And then from there, I'm going to come to the Helium 10 uh, Chrome extension and launch the Alibaba demand analyzer tool. So within a click of a button, I can know, okay, does this have potential or not? And I'm looking at it and it honestly has quite a bit of potential. We see the search volume, it's 1500. And this is the search volume on Amazon. It's not on Alibaba. This is pulling the search volume from Amazon to help us know, okay, is this actually in demand on the Amazon platform? And if you're selling in a different marketplace, so I mean, obviously I'm selling in the, in the US, if you're in a different marketplace, you can change this. So that's what this search volume is for. And then obviously the matching keywords and I'm looking at it and it looks like it has a lot of potential. And so from there, like I've mentioned, there's a lot of different things that I can do. I'm going to hit see all metrics and I'm going to see what the black box uh, niche tool uh, basically breaks it down with. And as you can see, the average reviews, it's 154. That's not a lot of competition. That's great. The average price is 38 bucks. That's fantastic. We see this seller right here is selling this particular stand for $71 and he only has 31 reviews. They're doing four grand a month. Again, right here, the seller only has 16 reviews and I mean, they're not making a killing, but I mean, they're almost doing a thousand bucks. So that gets me excited. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come copy this keyword. I'm gonna come back to Amazon. I'm gonna paste it in there and I wanna see what else we can find. So this is something very important to do is just kind of analyze your competition, see what they're doing and, and kind of get a feel for what products are being sold. We see some of these uh, acrylic uh, wallet display stands. We see these uh, adjustable um, stands that slide up and down, um, which was actually a keyword back here. We see purse display adjustable, purse display stand adjustable, not a ton of search, but that's something important to know that these things are adjustable. We see one that's super huge. Um, we see most of them are uh, chrome color. Um, now we're getting to where we see our first black one and it only has 13 reviews. So my thought is they probably just barely launched that. They have 13 reviews and they're almost out of stock. They have nine left. So they're probably doing decent. I mean, they're ranked number seven in women's handbag hangers. Here we see a rose gold one doesn't have a ton of reviews either. It has kind of bad reviews. So maybe we can look at that and see uh, what they're lacking and maybe launch something similar to that. Um, we see this, this gold one. And so as you guys can see, there's not a ton of color options. There's a lot of chrome and then there's a few ones that are black and a few that are rose gold. 
And so right off the bat, that's the hole in the market, at least from what I see. I haven't read the reviews, but that's just first glance. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up uh, this Chrome extension. I'm gonna again, verify my product idea. I see the search volume is really good. Um, the average reviews, 128. That validates it, that, that's not a lot of competition. I mean, the average seller is doing 2,500, which isn't like anything crazy, but I, I would not complain about a product doing 2,500 bucks a month. And who knows, it could have potential. I mean, we see uh, this one is doing 9,000. So I mean, it continued to grow. This one's doing 3,000. So those are things that we can look at. And obviously there's room to, room to grow. And so from there, I like everything that I see for this particular product. And I see the whole of the different colors, but now how do I actually find a supplier? And what's cool is they have a built-in tool inside the Chrome extension. If you guys haven't seen this, this is brand new. I'm gonna hit source on alibaba.com. And it's gonna pull up a bunch of different things. And what's kind of cool is with the click of a button, I can see, okay, well, this product is selling for 15 to $18. That's really expensive because here on Amazon, they're selling it for less than what they're quoting on Alibaba. So I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna adjust uh, this price filter. I don't wanna see any products that are more expensive than $10. I'm gonna hit apply, and then it's gonna show me even more. Again, we can do advanced filters, and these are something uh, super cool that you can do. The supplier country, the vendor type, the age of the account. So maybe we wanna only deal with suppliers that have been in business for three plus years. Um, it just gives them a little bit more credibility. I'm gonna hit apply on there. And then there's 204 products uh, again. So maybe we can uh, do the MOQ. So maybe I don't wanna deal with a huge massive bulk order. I, don't, I want the minimum order of 200. So now I'm gonna continue to scroll and see if there's anything that I could work with. And right here, this is a product in the price range that I'm looking for. It's not crazy expensive. Um, it's this, uh, this Chrome one, this purse display rack. And it looks like it's a little bit different than this particular one. And that's a good sign. So I'm gonna click on this and it's going to pull up in Alibaba and it's going to give me all the information that I need. And over here is very important to look at, okay? So this is something that you want to make sure that you're doing when talking and finding a supplier. You come over here and it shows that it's a gold supplier. We see that it has trade assurance, so protects your Alibaba.com orders. That's important. A lot of people are like, am I, am I gonna get scammed? And if they have trade assurance, you're not gonna get, get scammed because if something goes wrong with the order, you're going to be able to get your money back. So those are things that you need to look out for when finding a product. Another thing to look at is the 10 years in business. That means they've been in business for 10 plus years. That's a supplier I wanna work with. I don't want a supplier that's gonna go out of business in the next year because I'm looking to build my business for the next 10, 20 years. So I want a supplier that's been in business. So that's important to look at. Another thing is the rating right here. It has five star rating. The response rate is really good, 87.6% uh, response rate. That's good. And so what I'm going to do is, now that I know that this supplier is legit, I'm going to hit contact supplier, chat now. I'm gonna reach out and see what they can do. And like I mentioned, the hole in the market is the color options. There's not a lot of people offering different colors. And if we come back here to Amazon, we'll see that we see a lot of this chrome, but we see one seller selling in rose gold and they're selling a two pack for 40 bucks. Maybe they don't want a two pack. Maybe they just want a one pack for cheaper. And then here there's another one that's black and they just barely lost because they only have 13 reviews and then we have nine left. So obviously they're selling well. And so that's what I'm looking for. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come back to this supplier and I'm gonna reach out and say, hey, can you offer this in black or can you offer it in rose gold or can you offer it in gold? What color can you offer it in? And that's just what you're going to have to ask the supplier. And so a lot of people get stressed out. Well, how do I customize a product? The only way to customize it is by asking if you can get that customized. And the only way to get it customized is to come up with the idea of how to customize it. And so just by looking at it briefly, obviously there's some other things. I mean, I could look at the reviews. I mean, this one has bad reviews. What are the reviews saying? Is this type of hook feature? bad or maybe there's two um it's there's two hooks on it and it can't support it i don't know i need to go read the reviews and so that's what i would do is figure out okay what's the problem uh there's not a lot a lot of color options uh here's our first one in gold so we have one in black one rose gold and one uh gold and then the rest are chrome so obviously there is potential to fill that gap in the market 
and you just reach out to these different suppliers. So if we come back here um, to the Chrome extension, we can um, come back to this cool new tool, the source on Alibaba, and we can hit load more in Alibaba. And just like that, it's going to come up and it's going to auto enter in this keyword right here, purse display stand, it searches it, and then I can scroll and see what other options are available. So right here, this is one that I see that is completely different than anything that I've seen. It has the two hooks on it. So maybe I reach out to this supplier and say, hey, can you offer this in gold or rose, or rose gold or black and see what you can work out with. And the price is not that expensive. And the MOQ is only 10 sets. And so that's what I'm looking for. And again, once I click on this product, we need to verify the supplier. It's verified, that's good. It has trade assurance, that's excellent. It's nine years in business, that's amazing. 4.8 star rating, that's really good. The response rate, 84.4%, that's good. So this is a good credible supplier that I can also reach out to and see if they can customize something. So that's what I'm looking for when it comes to sourcing a product. I'm looking for ways to improve it. I'm looking for good solid suppliers that can give me the best quality product. And those are just things that you're going to have to talk with your supplier. So that is everything that I do when it comes to product research. Obviously I'm trying to verify it. I'm trying to come up with a unique idea. Once I find a good potential product idea, then I go in and I figure out, okay, how can I improve it? Can I get it at a good price point? Is there a hole in the market? How can I improve this product? And just like that, I feel like we found uh, that hole in the market. And I mean, no one, nobody's selling this exact same display rack, especially in a different color. So right there, I have a potential product that I could go start selling right away. So I hope that you found this valuable. I hope you now use these tools to your benefit. Again, if you want to use them, I'll put the discount code down below. It's AMZ Champions 50. You'll get the entire suite of tools for 50% off. So make sure to get that. Make sure you understand how to use the tools, how to break down the information. And then from there, things will become a lot easier. So it does take some time. I didn't just learn this overnight. And I know sometimes it may look like I'm doing things super easy, but it's been years and years of experience and I've done this a lot. So take your time, don't get frustrated. I know that there's a lot of products out there for you to find and I hope that this inspired you. I hope you guys learned something and if you did, do me a favor, like the video, drop a comment, subscribe. Obviously, you might as well do that to enter the giveaway as well. So I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. Um, but remember the giveaway, share this with a friend, share this with as many people as possible. I'm giving away a pair of AirPods and a free 30 minute coaching call. I just wanna say thank you and we'll see you in the next video.